Miss Transformers 96 here with another video review. This time of um, Marvel Universe Spider Man 2099. Okay, well, as you can see, I have him in a pretty decent pose. I think so, at least. There's just a 360. Okay, very nice. Well, there you go. Okay, let's first talk about the box. The box is the new 2011 line um, packaging, which is basically the same thing, just some uh, more silver and gray over here in the side right here, and of uh, the new symbol, um, the new shield symbol, and then uh, artwork done by a different person. And this artwork is fantastic, by the way. Absolutely love this artwork. Um, between the modular armor, Doc Samson, and this uh, Spider-Man 99, um, this one is definitely the best artwork so far that I've seen. Okay, on the back, you've got the new back, but the same style, at least. Three more that you need to get. Doc Samson, I've done my review for. And these two, um, uh, I don't have yet, but I'm going to try to look for. And then the new orange, kind of like sun in the background with comics, uh, little comics over here. Uh, with the picture of the toy, which is a very nice picture, I actually will say. So, the new thing. And then it is this guy. I don't really know who he is right now, at least. But yeah, it just says collect them all, instead of the hammer thing. Okay, so let's first just get him in um, the basic, just standing position. And one more thing, if you're just tuning in and uh, you... Um, you haven't watched my Doc Samson review, um, I'm going to say you should watch that one first, because uh, that was my first review from the new 2011 Marvel Universe line, so I go a little bit more in detail with the box and stuff like that in that review. Okay, so just in a standard standing position, here you'll have Spider-Man 99. Okay, he comes with a base that all the hammer files came with, but it doesn't say in 2099, it just says Spider-Man, and then the number, which is fine with me, it's not bad. Um, this guy uh, is very cool. Let's go over articulation. He's got a ball hinge elbow, a uh, shoulder I mean, with a, uh, a, a just hinge elbow and a swivel bicep, and then a swivel um, wrist, and then a ball jointed, well... I think it's a ball jointed. It might be a hinge joint, but I don't know. It's a um, his head can look up, sideways, pretty much anywhere. Uh, same thing on the other hand. Um, a torso, a ball jointed torso, ball jointed thigh, double hinge knees, and an ankle swivel. So there you go. Okay, so a decent amount of articulation. The only thing I don't like about um, his articulation is really his um. His, uh, just the ball jointed thigh. I like the ball hinge thigh. It allows him to put his knee up a little bit farther and do some more stuff. And it doesn't pop off so much. So, um, so yeah, so I don't love the, uh, that joint. Okay. So I don't love that joint, but, you know, it's, it's there. It works. I wish they had put, um, a different one there, though. Because I think it would have looked better. Okay, well, um, this is Spider-Man 2099. I really don't know much about the character itself. Um, I really don't know anything about the character, actually. So, uh, so if, I don't know, just go and search him or something and read a bio or something about him. Because um, I really don't know anything. So I'm just going off of the toy, not the character himself. Uh, the paint is great. It's a uh, um, the blue is a very um, metallic, shiny blue with uh, red highlights, um, and the red's kind of like a skull spider thing kind of going on in um, his uh, body, which is very cool. And the red extends um, just to his arms and the torso and his head. There's no red highlights on his legs at all. Um, the head sculpt is very cool, very nice looking. Uh, uh, some great red highlights up there. Uh, which is good. He's got one open hand, one fist, which I think is nice. Uh, two spike things kind of coming out, and uh, they, I don't know if this is, they made a whole entire new plastic and um, with these two spikes, or if they made the two spikes and molded them on. Uh, it looks like they made the whole new um, 
uh, forearm with the uh, with the wrist to make these little spikes. So I think that's very cool. Also, um, one thing that I thought was removable but isn't, um, but I'm still happy with, is the uh, the spider kind of cape thing. It's very cool. It's molded up here on his back, and uh, it's very it's kind of see through with a lot of little details in there, which looks great. And um, I thought it was removable, but even though it isn't, I really couldn't care less because it looks great. And um, so I'm actually kind of glad that they didn't make it removable because uh, I wouldn't have removed it for sure. Um, if you want a comparison, there's only one other Spider-Man figure that I have, and it's not just the regular Spider-Man. Let me get him out. Hold on. Right here, okay. It's the Iron Spider-Man. So yeah, um, I think these two Spider-Mans look really cool next to each other. Uh, I really like the way that they both look up against each other, like I said. And uh, it's very nice. Same height, it's really the same sculpt, except uh, it's got the spikes and it's got the new web instead of the claws. So yeah, so very cool. Uh, I'll leave this guy in the background just for uh, some um, comparison. Uh, he's got the same one fist and one open hand as well as this guy, because I think it's pretty much the same sculpt. Even the same head. Well, no, I actually don't think it's the same head, but um, the body and arms and legs and stuff like that I think is the same. Uh, he comes with one accessory that the regular Spider-Man has that uh, you've already seen because uh, I had him posed with it. It's that um, kind of like webbing spider thing, which I think looks great. I really like it. I didn't expect to like it. You know, it was just I just expected it to just be there, but I actually really liked it. Um, it's very nice. It just has these two kind of clips. Let's see if you can see them. There they are, those two kind of clips, and it just clips on to his arm, just wherever there isn't an uh, exact spot, but just wherever it fits, and then it's kind of like a little web blast kind of thing, and it looks really cool, I, I like it, I like it in that one pose that I had him in in the front, I liked it, uh, like that. So, um, this is a very good figure. Uh, I really like it. I'm liking a lot of the new 2011 Marvel Universe figures, uh, so that's great. And, uh, very cool. I really like this guy, and I recommend it, especially since he's not too rare, so you should be able to find him and pick him up on, mm -hmm. um, on, uh, just regular retail, and you don't have to hunt him down or pay extra online for him. He's just pretty simple to find. So that's great. Uh, I found this guy at Toys R Us. Um, also watch my Goody Hall report uh, of... December 11th to see him and the rest of the things, people that I got from this wave and um, just that kind of stuff and where I got them and pricing and all that kind of stuff. So this is a very nice figure, highly recommended by me. So yeah, so I definitely recommend that you pick up this guy because he is very nice. So there you go, so that's my video review for Spider-Man 2099. Up next will be the modular armor Iron Man and the one before this would be Doc Sampson. So there you go. Thanks for watching.